Hello today we are talking about robots. A robot is a machine, especially one programmable by a computer, capable of carrying out a complex series of actions automatically. Robots can be guided by an external control device or the control may be embedded within. Robots may be constructed on the lines of human form, but most robots are machines designed to perform a task with no regard to their aesthetics. Robots can be autonomous or semi-autonomous and range from humanoids such as Honda's Advanced Step in Innovative Mobility, ASIMO, and TOSY's TOSY Ping Pong Playing Robot, TOPIO, to industrial robots, medical operating robots, patient assist robots, dog therapy robots, collectively programmed swarm robots, UAV drones such as General Atomics MQ-1 Predator, and even microscopic nanorobots. By mimicking a lifelike appearance or automating movements, a robot may convey a sense of intelligence or thought of its own. Autonomous things are expected to proliferate in the coming decade, with home robotics and the autonomous car as some of the main drivers. The branch of technology that deals with the design, construction, operation, and application of robots, as well as computer systems for their control, sensory feedback, and information processing is robotics. These technologies deal with automated machines that can take the place of humans in dangerous environments or manufacturing processes, or resemble humans in appearance, behavior, or cognition. Many of today's robots are inspired by nature contributing to the field of bio-inspired robotics. These robots have also created a newer branch of robotics, soft robotics. From the time of ancient civilization, there have been many accounts of user-configurable automated devices and even automata resembling humans and other animals, designed primarily as entertainment. As mechanical techniques developed through the industrial age, there appeared more practical applications such as automated machines, remote control and wireless remote control. The term comes from a Slavic root, robot, with meanings associated with labor. The word, robot, was first used to denote a fictional humanoid in a 1920 Czech language play R.U.R. Rosamuvi Univerzalni Roboti, Rossum's Universal Robots by Karol Kopeck, though it was Karol's brother Joseph Kopeck who was the word's true inventor. Electronics evolved into the driving force of development with the advent of the first electronic autonomous robots created by William Gray Walter in Bristol, England in 1948, as well as computer numerical control CNC, machine tools in the late 1940s by John T. Parsons and Frank L. Stulen. The first commercial, digital and programmable robot was built by George Devil in 1954 and was named the Unimate. It was sold to General Motors in 1961 where it was used to lift pieces of hot metal from die casting machines at the Inland Fisher Guide Plant in the West Trenton section of Ewing Township, New Jersey. Robots have replaced humans in performing repetitive and dangerous tasks which humans prefer not to do, or are unable to do because of size limitations, or which take place in extreme environments such as outer space or the bottom of the sea. There are concerns about the increasing use of robots and their role in society. Robots are blamed for rising technological unemployment as they replace workers in increasing numbers of functions. The use of robots in military combat raises ethical concerns. The possibilities of robot autonomy and potential repercussions have been addressed in fiction and may be a realistic concern in the future. The word robot can refer to both physical robots and virtual software agents, but the latter are usually referred to as bots. There is no consensus on which machines qualify as robots but there is general agreement among experts, and the public, that robots tend to possess some or all of the following abilities and functions, except electronic programming, process data or physical perceptions electronically, operate autonomously to some degree, move around, operate physical parts of itself or physical processes, sense and manipulate their environment, and exhibit intelligent behavior, especially behavior which mimics humans or other animals. Closely related to the concept of a robot is the field of synthetic biology, which studies entities whose nature is more comparable to beings than to machines. The idea of automata originates in the mythologies of many cultures around the world. Engineers and inventors from ancient civilizations, including ancient China, ancient Greece, and Ptolemaic Egypt, 
attempted to build self-operating machines, some resembling animals and humans. Early descriptions of automata include the artificial doves of Archites, the artificial birds of Mosey and Luban, a speaking automaton by Hero of Alexandria, a washstand automaton by Philo of Byzantium, and a human automaton described in the Lysi. Many ancient mythologies, and most modern religions include artificial people, such as the mechanical servants built by the Greek god Hephaestus, Vulcan to the Romans, the clay golems of Jewish legend and clay giants of Norse legend, and Galatea, the mythical statue of Pygmalion that came to life. Since circa 400 BC, myths of Crete include Telos, a man of bronze who guarded the island from pirates. In ancient Greece, the Greek engineer C. Tesebius, C. 270 BC applied a knowledge of pneumatics and hydraulics to produce the first organ and water clocks with moving figures. In the 4th century BC, the Greek mathematician Archites of Tarentum postulated a mechanical steam-operated bird he called the pigeon. Hero of Alexandria, 10 to 70 AD, a Greek mathematician and inventor, created numerous user-configurable automated devices and described machines powered by air pressure, steam and water. Al Jazari, a musical toy the 11th century Lokapanati tells of how the Buddha's relics were protected by mechanical robots Bhutavana Yanta from the kingdom of Roma Visaya, Rome, until they were disarmed by King Ashoka. In ancient China, the 3rd century text of the Lysi describes an account of humanoid automata, involving a much earlier encounter between Chinese Emperor King Mu of Zhou and a mechanical engineer known as Yan Shi, an artificer. Yan Shi proudly presented the king with a life-size, human-shaped figure of his mechanical, handiwork, made of leather, wood, and artificial organs. There are also accounts of flying automata in the Han Feizi and other texts, which attributes the 5th century BC Mohist philosopher Mozi and his contemporary Lu Ban with the invention of artificial wooden birds Ma Yuan that could successfully fly. Various techniques have emerged to develop the science of robotics and robots. One method is evolutionary robotics, in which a number of differing robots are submitted to tests. Those which perform best are used as a model to create a subsequent generation of robots. Another method is developmental robotics, which tracks changes and development within a single robot in the areas of problem solving and other functions. Another new type of robot is just recently introduced which acts both as a smartphone and robot and is named Roboan. As robots become more advanced, eventually there may be a standard computer operating system designed mainly for robots. Robot Operating System is an open source set of programs being developed at Stanford University, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and the Technical University of Munich, Germany, among others. ROS provides ways to program a robot's navigation and limbs regardless of the specific hardware involved. It also provides high-level commands for items like image recognition and even opening doors. When Ross boots up on a robot's computer, it would obtain data on attributes such as the length and movement of robot's limbs. It would relay this data to higher-level algorithms. Microsoft is also developing a Windows for Robots system with its Robotics Developer Studio, which has been available since 2007. Japan hopes to have full-scale commercialization of service robots by 2025. Much technological research in Japan is led by Japanese government agencies, particularly the trade ministry. Many future applications of robotics seem obvious to people, even though they are well beyond the capabilities of robots available at the time of the prediction. As early as 1982 people were confident that someday robots would, 1. Clean parts by removing molding flash 2. Spray paint automobiles with absolutely no human presence 3. Pack things in boxes, for example, orient and nest chocolate candies in candy boxes 4. Make electrical cable harness 5. Load trucks with boxes, a packing problem 6. Handle soft goods, such as garments and shoes 7. Shear sheep 8. Prosthesis 9. Cook fast food and work in other service industries 10. Household robot. Generally such predictions are overly optimistic in timescale. New functionalities and prototypes in 2008, 
Caterpillar Inc. developed a dump truck which can drive itself without any human operator. Many analysts believe that self-driving trucks may eventually revolutionize logistics. By 2014, Caterpillar had a self-driving dump truck which is expected to greatly change the process of mining. In 2015, these Caterpillar trucks were actively used in mining operations in Australia by the mining company Rio Tinto Coal Australia. Some analysts believe that within the next few decades, most trucks will be self-driving. A literate or reading robot named Marge has intelligence that comes from software. She can read newspapers, find and correct misspelled words, learn about banks like Barclays, and understand that some restaurants are better places to eat than others. Baxter is a new robot introduced in 2012 which learns by guidance. A worker could teach Baxter how to perform a task by moving its hands in the desired motion and having Baxter memorize them. Extra dials, buttons, and controls are available on Baxter's arm for more precision and features. Any regular worker could program Baxter and it only takes a matter of minutes, unlike usual industrial robots that take extensive programs and coding in order to be used. This means Baxter needs no programming in order to operate. No software engineers are needed. This also means Baxter can be taught to perform multiple, more complicated tasks. Sawyer was added in 2015 for smaller, more precise tasks. Mobile robots have the capability to move around in their environment and are not fixed to one physical location. An example of a mobile robot that is in common use today is the Automated Guided Vehicle or Automatic Guided Vehicle, AGV. An AGV is a mobile robot that follows markers or wires in the floor, or uses vision or lasers. Mobile robots are also found in industry, military and security environments. They also appear as consumer products, for entertainment or to perform certain tasks like vacuum cleaning. Mobile robots are the focus of a great deal of current research and almost every major university has one or more labs that focus on mobile robot research. Mobile robots are usually used in tightly controlled environments such as on assembly lines because they have difficulty responding to unexpected interference. Because of this most humans rarely encounter robots. However domestic robots for cleaning and maintenance are increasingly common in and around homes in developed countries. Robots can also be found in military applications. Industrial robots usually consist of a jointed arm, multi-linked manipulator, and an end effector that is attached to a fixed surface. One of the most common type of end effector is a gripper assembly. The International Organization for Standardization gives a definition of a manipulating industrial robot in ISO 8373, an automatically controlled, reprogrammable, multi-purpose, manipulator programmable in three or more axes, which may be either fixed in place or mobile for use in industrial automation applications. This definition is used by the International Federation of Robotics, the European Robotics Research Network, EURON, and many national standards committees. Most commonly industrial robots are fixed robotic arms and manipulators used primarily for production and distribution of goods. The term, service robot, is less well defined. The International Federation of Robotics has proposed a tentative definition, a service robot is a robot which operates semi or fully autonomously to perform services useful to the well-being of humans and equipment, excluding manufacturing operations. Robots are used as educational assistants to teachers. From the 1980s, robots such as turtles were used in schools and programmed using the logo language. There are robot kits like Lego Mindstorms, B-I-O-L-O-I-D, O-L-L-O from R-O-B-O-T-I-S, or bot brain educational robots can help children to learn about mathematics, physics, programming, and electronics. Robotics have also been introduced into the lives of elementary and high school students in the form of robot competitions with the company First for inspiration and recognition of science and technology. The organization is the foundation for the First Robotics Competition, First Lego League, Junior First Lego League, and First Tech Challenge Competitions. There have also been robots such as the teaching computer, Leachim, 1974. Leachim was an early example of speech synthesis using the using the diphone synthesis method. 
2XL 1976 was a robot-shaped game, teaching toy based on branching between audible tracks on an 8-track tape player, both invented by Michael J. Freeman. Later, the 8-track was upgraded to tape cassettes and then to digital. Modular robots are a new breed of robots that are designed to increase the utilization of robots by modularizing their architecture. The functionality and effectiveness of a modular robot is easier to increase compared to conventional robots. These robots are composed of a single type of identical, several different identical module types, or similarly shaped modules, which vary in size. Their architectural structure allows hyper-redundancy for modular robots, as they can be designed with more than 8 degrees of freedom DOF. Creating the programming, inverse kinematics and dynamics for modular robots is more complex than with traditional robots. Modular robots may be composed of L-shaped modules, cubic modules, and U and H-shaped modules. ANAT Technology, an early modular robotic technology patented by Robotics Design Inc., allows the creation of modular robots from U and H-shaped modules that connect in a chain, and are used to form heterogeneous and homogeneous modular robot systems. These, ANAT robots, can be designed with, N, DOF as each module is a complete motorized robotic system that folds relatively to the modules connected before and after it in its chain, and therefore a single module allows one degree of freedom. The more modules that are connected to one another, the more degrees of freedom it will have. L-shaped modules can also be designed in a chain, and must become increasingly smaller as the size of the chain increases, as payloads attached to the end of the chain place a greater strain on modules that are further from the base. ANATH-shaped modules do not suffer from this problem, as their design allows a modular robot to distribute pressure and impacts evenly amongst other attached modules, and therefore payload carrying capacity does not decrease as the length of the arm increases. Modular robots can be manually or self-reconfigured to form a different robot, that may perform different applications. Because modular robots of the same architecture type are composed of modules that compose different modular robots, a snake arm robot can combine with another to form a dual or quadra arm robot, or can split into several mobile robots, and mobile robots can split into multiple smaller ones, or combine with others into a larger or different one. This allows a single modular robot the ability to be fully specialized in a single task, as well as the capacity to be specialized to perform multiple different tasks. Modular robotic technology is currently being applied in hybrid transportation, industrial automation, duct cleaning and handling. Many research centers and universities have also studied this technology, and have developed prototypes. A collaborative robot or cabot is a robot that can safely and effectively interact with human workers while performing simple industrial tasks. However, end effectors and other environmental conditions may create hazards, and as such risk assessments should be done before using any industrial motion control application. The collaborative robots most widely used in industries today are manufactured by Universal Robots in Denmark. Rethink Robotics, founded by Rodney Brooks, previously with iRobot, introduced Baxter in September 2012, as an industrial robot designed to safely interact with neighboring human workers, and be programmable for performing simple tasks. Baxters stop if they detect a human in the way of their robotic arms and have prominent off switches. Intended for sale to small businesses, they are promoted as the robotic analog of the personal computer. As of May 2014, 190 companies in the US have bought Baxters and they are being used commercially in the UK. As robots have become more advanced and sophisticated, experts and academics have increasingly explored the questions of what ethics might govern robots' behavior, and whether robots might be able to claim any kind of social, cultural, ethical or legal rights. One scientific team has said that it is possible that a robot brain will exist by 2019. Others predict robot intelligence breakthroughs by 2050. Recent advances have made robotic behavior more sophisticated. The social impact of intelligent robots is subject of a 2010 documentary film called Plug and Pray. Werner Binge has suggested that a moment may come when computers and robots are smarter than humans. He calls this, the singularity. He suggests that it may be somewhat or possibly very dangerous for humans. 
This is discussed by a philosophy called singularitarianism. In 2009, experts attended a conference hosted by the Association for the Advancement of Artificial Intelligence, AAAI, to discuss whether computers and robots might be able to acquire any autonomy, and how much these abilities might pose a threat or hazard. They noted that some robots have acquired various forms of semi-autonomy, including being able to find power sources on their own and being able to independently choose targets to attack with weapons. They also noted that some computer viruses can evade elimination and have achieved cockroach intelligence. They noted that self-awareness as depicted in science fiction is probably unlikely, but that there were other potential hazards and pitfalls. Various media sources and scientific groups have noted separate trends in differing areas which might together result in greater robotic functionalities and autonomy, and which pose some inherent concerns. In 2015, the now Alderan robots were shown to have a capability for a degree of self-awareness. Researchers at the Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute AI and Reasoning Lab in New York conducted an experiment where a robot became aware of itself, and corrected its answer to a question once it had realized this. Military robots Some experts and academics have questioned the use of robots for military combat, especially when such robots are given some degree of autonomous functions. There are also concerns about technology which might allow some armed robots to be controlled mainly by other robots. The U.S. Navy has funded a report which indicates that, as military robots become more complex, there should be greater attention to implications of their ability to make autonomous decisions. One researcher states that autonomous robots might be more humane, as they could make decisions more effectively. However, other experts question this. Mining robots Mining robots are designed to solve a number of problems currently facing the mining industry, including skills shortages, improving productivity from declining ore grades, and achieving environmental targets. Due to the hazardous nature of mining, in particular underground mining, the prevalence of autonomous, semi-autonomous, and teleoperated robots has greatly increased in recent times. A number of vehicle manufacturers provide autonomous trains, trucks and loaders that will load material, transport it on the mine site to its destination, and unload without requiring human intervention. One of the world's largest mining corporations, Rio Tinto, has recently expanded its autonomous truck fleet to the world's largest, consisting of 150 autonomous Komatsu trucks, operating in Western Australia. Similarly, VHP has announced the expansion of its autonomous drill fleet to the world's largest, 21 autonomous Atlas Copco drills. Healthcare robots in healthcare have two main functions. Those which assist an individual, such as a sufferer of a disease like multiple sclerosis, and those which aid in the overall system such as pharmacies and hospitals. Robots used in home automation have developed over time from simple basic robotic assistants, such as the Handy One, through to semi-autonomous robots, such as Friend which can assist the elderly and disabled with common tasks. Thanks for listening. See you later.